Hello there! Bronsky! Bronsky! Oh, good morning! Oh, you can't hear yourself speak with this blasted noise. Well, what brings your lordship out so early? My mother on the Petersburg train. Oh. And you? The same. A woman. <laughs> on his swarky Mallet Ponds is my sister, Anna. <laughs> Anna Karenina. Oh, yes, of course. Well, you know her husband, the minister. Oh, by name. Oh, well, he's famous. Yes, he's bursting with brains. And cold as a pickled carp. Not my line. Yes, it gives him the shivers. He says this blasted cold. What time's the train doing? 7.50, then she's late. Yes, you know, they'll be frozen. There's not a single coach with the heaters working, so they tell me. Well, I've only just got up. How about some tea? I haven't been to bed yet. Oh, good for you. Still that little diva from the opera? No, she's gone back to Milan. Oh, my sympathies. Well, we must celebrate. How about a banquet? The Angleterre. No, the Hermitage. Oh, the more money. <laughs> yeah, but I say, what about Kitty? Isn't it all fixed up between you and my pretty sister-in-law? Not so loud, Steve. And you're the one who poked fun at husbands. Oh, but you're right. It's a ghastly business. Ah, uh, well, the train's been signaled. What is a ghastly business? Marriage, dear boy. Don't let me put you uh, off, but... What? Steve, uh, have you been on the spree again? No, no, nothing of the kind. I swear it on the heads of my five children. A spot of bother with their governors. Steve, Steve. Even shake a head, old man. You're a bachelor. You've got a pretty uniform. Me, I'm desperate. Who's the man, man? Oh, we managed to keep up appearances, thank the Lord. But I have to camp out on the sofa. Dolly's chasing me out of the bedroom. And why nothing? A little piece of foolishness with a schoolmistress, I ask you, from Paris. Yes. But when she said, Monsieur de France, Oblonsky, mon amour, well, how could I resist it? Was that the train? No, it's not shunting out. Well, Dolly got to know, the Lord knows how, and then bang, lightning, the house upside down, children running wild, French girls sacked, and the English governess for good measure. An old patrona asking me to pray for forgiveness. Now, what do you think of that? Cigar? Yeah. Oh. I've implored Anna to help me out. I have courage. She will. Yes, yeah, she's the soul of virtue, but she understands. You know, the worst of it is, we're receiving the Grand Duke tomorrow. You're coming, by the way. Yes, but... Uh, but nothing, I... dear boy. Mind you, I'm desperate. I love Dolly, but she takes things to heart so much. She... Oh, well. Express train from St. Petersburg, arriving platform six. Stand back, stand back, please. Express train from St. Petersburg. Steve, huh? you're on the wrong platform. Oh, no. Masha? Masha, the yellow relics. Oh, well, thank Oscar. heaven we've arrived. And the pillows. Oh, you're dropping everything. And the samovar. I am dying for a glass of tea. But take the things onto the platform, stupid. Find a porter. Now, don't fool. Masha will see to all the luggage. Oh, what an unbearable journey. But you charm the hours away. Absolutely charm them away. Mother? Alexis! Oh, my dear. Lady? <laughs> There, dear. <laughs> well, you got my telegram at least. Yes. Did you have a good journey? Oh, broken in pieces. Masha, she's dropped the Scotch travelling rug. Oh, find some boiling water, do, Alexis. Twenty-two hours without my tea and shaken about like a demented tambourine. If it hadn't been for Madame Karenina... Is she with you? Her brother's looking for her. Her husband asked me to chaperone her. Such an intelligent man. She is tout à fait charmante. I'll present you. Masha, where are my gloves? Oh, she's made quite a conquest of me. I can say that at my age. We talked of nothing but our sons. She has a little boy to whom she's quite devoted. Oh, now, oh my handsome Alexis. What are these rumors I hear about a superb marriage? Mama, nothing has been settled yet. Oh, Vronsky? Ah, oh, Countess! How are you, Prince Vronsky? Pink and well, as usual, I see. And what does Dolly say to that? Well, she's delighted. I'm sure she is. I am sure she is. Anna! Oh, there you are, my dear. Allow me to present my son, Count Vronsky, Madame Karani.
Okay, what's happened? Uh, an accident during the shunting to one of the gangers. Please keep calm. Everything's being done. Steve Please up. keep calm. Oh, oh much on my smelling so. Please keep calm. Oh, these railways. First my tea, now something else. Oh, when I was young, I was taken by Troika to be presented to the Tsar. Wrapped in furs. I was ready for anything. the snow three times, as many bruises as there were pearls round my neck. But these engines are the death of you. Stephen, what has happened? He's... he's dead. Oh, it was quite instantaneous. His wife was there. She saw it happen. Give her this. Oh, no, it's quite all right. Ronsky's seen to that. He's given her 2,000 rubles. There was a horde of small children. Oh. Allow me to kiss your little face. We shall meet again soon, I hope. Well, goodbye, Countess. Well, tomorrow evening, then, Count. Till tomorrow. Russia. Oh, she's dropping everything. My nerves won't stand anymore. Now, where are the porters? Porter! That was a warning. What? Death. Oh, don't tell me you believe old wives' tales. <laughs> Oh, Anna, you're here. That's the main thing. You know, you're my only hope. Dolly's threatening to leave home and go to her mother, and we're giving a ball tomorrow night. How long have you known him? Hmm? Bronson. Oh, always known him. Yes, and now he's going to be one of us. He's marrying Kitty. Oh, yes. Our porter, Madame Zagit. And don't forget those two pieces out there. Eva, hmm? what have you been up to? Oh, nothing. Nothing over upon my soul. No, um, Dolly's tired. That's the top and the bottom of it. You know, five pregnancies in a row. Yeah, but you can't let her go now. You must make her see sense. Ah, that's better. Now, Brinker, you're suffocating him, you idiot. He's not a cheese. Alexis, take him. Alexis. Ah, elle est charmante, n'est-ce pas? Yes, charming. You impossible. Get away from me, you. But you, you told me that you'd forgiven me. Oh, yes, forgive me. Why, only yesterday you told Anna. Leave Anna out of it, if you please. Uh, why, I know I'm a brute. You? A brute? Oh. Oh, just because I was carried away for a few minutes. Carried away? Dolly, nine years of life together. Go away. Dolly, please, please Don't put your gown on. Me. Go away. I love you, Dolly. Go away. Go away. You're killing me. Huh? You're a stranger to me. A stranger! It's all right, all right, but for mercy's sake, stop crying. The servants are here. God, it's hot. I haven't got my tie on. Well, what do you want? Guests are arriving, Excellency. Well, what do you expect me to do about it? Your coat, Excellency. Oh, yes, my coat. Oh, Matthew. Shall I ask Madame Karenina? Yes, go and find her. Oh, and Matthew. I suppose nothing's ready. Madame has given all the necessary orders. Oh! You're a darling, in spite of everything, you... Oh, you're an angel. Oh, Dolly, if only you could understand how unimportant oh. all the... Well, I mean, of course, it's serious, yes, very serious. You remember the champagne? From Lev. And the brandy? 68 reservoir. Dolly, look at me. Never again, I swear it on... What? Oh. Oh, Anna. Anna, I implore you. Go and put your coat on, Steve. But the Grand Duke is coming. Thank you, Anna. Thank you very much. I wish I were dead. You love him. You forgive him. You forgave him yesterday. When I think of him with that woman here in this house. I know. I had such trust in him. How can you understand? You're happy. I loved him, Anna. I loved him so much. You still love him? I hate him. You love him. Oh, forgive him. He's suffering, too, in his own way. He's suffering? You know what he did? The night of our quarrel, he went straight off to the casino and had supper with a lot of dancing girls. Suffering? You're his wife. His habit. It's the same thing for a man. Five children. And he gets into debt. 
that runs after women? Is this a life? <laughs> and your life, Anna? You're happy at least. Oh, I have my little Sergei. Ah, oh, yes. And you're a great lady. You go to court. And then Alexis Karenin never. No, never. <laughs> Only I don't love him. And did you think I could, darling? That statue. You wrong me. I'm a woman. But everyone thinks you're happy with Karenin. Oh, good. That's how I wanted to be. Let them envy my happiness. You know how it used to be the fashion to wear masks, darling? Well, that's mine. Happiness. That surprises you. Oh, I've wept too, Dolly. I've rebelled against this marriage, against my parents who forced it on me as though it were an unbelievable good fortune. But then I had Sergei. I'm resigned. You? <laughs> that shocks you? Oh, I know. I used to be so full of hope at one time. Well, now I'm in a hurry to grow old. There'll be peace, Dolly. And afterwards. <laughs> A woman's life is short. Oh, oh darling, <laughs> Dolly, Dolly, you're not going to start crying again on my account. Now think of yourself and of Steva waiting to be forgiven. Oh, you're good, Anna. I'm glad you came. How beautiful you are. My hair's coming down. Dolly! I shall go upstairs to dress Steva. But remember, I'm only doing it for the sake of the children. For Grisha and Misha. And Anya and Tanya and little Manya. Only for them. Oh, Anna, Anna, you're wonderful. And you're a lunatic. Now, don't you dare start anything again, do you hear? No, 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 of course not. Oh, thank you, little sister. I'm happy, so very happy. Well, then go up to Dolly and make her happy too. Go on. Yes, I'll go at once. She's a wonderful woman, you know, Anna. She even remembered the champagne. Mm -hmm. Oh, uh, if any of the guests... I'll take care of everything. Ah, uh, my Anna. And all for a man like Karenin, that pickled calf. Oh. Only friends in here, Matve, do you understand? Are the guests being entertained? Uh, yes, Excellency, but it is not housekeeper's work. Matrona is quite overwhelmed. Well, the prince and princess will be joining them at once. Oh, thank you, Excellency. May I ask your Excellency for news of Master Sergei? Indeed you may, Matve. There you are. There he is. Oh, he's grown into a fine little gentleman. But they've cut off all his curls. Quite the young man. <laughs> it's better that way. He's adorable. Oh, looking. <laughs> the first flower of the ball. <laughs> oh, Anna. What is it? I thought you'd come in mauve, not black. Why mauve? Well, lilac, at least it's more romantic. Quel horreur. Don't you love me still, even in black? Oh, I do. I do. It's terribly distinct. Well, I felt quite certain that you'd come in pink. What does it feel like to be 18? 19? Oh, dreadfully old. Oh, I know. <laughs> oh, I felt just like that when I was 19. In red stockings and a little satin cloak. And I'd sit with my cheek against the window, looking out into the snow and dreaming. Oh, I know. Feeling the dark room behind you and the warmness and wondering. Wondering who'll be coming down the street. Is he coming? In his uniform. Anna, I think he's going to speak to me. Oh, don't be frightened. You're very pretty. I don't mind about other men, but somehow, somehow when they're with him, I can, I can hardly breathe. Oh, oh, Anna, it's going to be a lovely boy. You're so young. So very young. Don't you love dancing? Well, you're the most beautiful of all. Anna, say something to him. To Vronsky? Speak to him. Say something nice about me. You've met him. You don't need me, you silly. Beside, you should ask Dolly. You know that. Oh, Dolly. Would you? <laughs> yes, I will. 
Oh, Anna, thank you. You've got my life in your hands. My whole life. <laughs> ladies, ladies, what's this? Not dancing? Anna Karenina, shame on you. For shame, are you in hiding? Ah, uh, ravissant. Parfaitement ravissant. Mademoiselle Kitty, now come, on with the dance. Oh, no, I don't feel in the least like it, Gossel. The queen of the ball. Oh, come now, Madame Karenina. Just once round the room. It's nearly finished. <laughs> Please. Bravo. Ah, Vienna, what rhythm. Good evening, Count. Good evening, Kitty. Nice gown. Do you like it? Yes. Very much. Like a dream, you float, dear lady. The next mazurka? With pleasure. Encore, encore. No. Beast, no, beast. No, 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 not now. Then uh, some champagne. Allow me to get it for you. And uh, Miss Kitty of the Pink Feathers, something for you, a water ice. I I'll come with you. I'll wake you. Nothing? Oh, but I insist on the Krakowiak after the mazurka. Orchestra! <laughs> He's quite mad, Krasinski. I remember no, him no, at cadet school. He's going to come as a devil at the very next. <laughs> We're all talking at once. Mazurka. You are enjoying Moscow, madame? Very much. An old city filled with legends and scandals. I love the legends. You find my presence disturbing, madame? No, forgive me. I'm still nervous from yesterday. The accident. I still hear that poor woman scream. I shall never forget it. What has happened to her, do you know? She is being helped. She'll be able to live. Is that a blessing? To live? I think so since yesterday. What do you mean? Shall I go on? No, I don't understand you. I'm sorry. What I want to say is quite commonplace. It just happens that I have never said it before in my life. Count Bronsky. I know. I have no excuse. There is nothing between us the sound of the train and death. Take pity on me. Are you mad? Perhaps. Yes, I am. Don't go. Please don't go. I frightened you. So I was afraid. My life is in your hands. Kitty loves you, Count Vronsky. So I'm sorry about that. Is that all? What else is there? It's finished. Love her. Is that an order? All right. You won't see me again. What you've done for me. I... At the first glance, as if you'd taken a gun and shot me. You don't know the power you have, Anna Karenina. You think I wanted this? Please go. Send me away. I can bring you happiness. Despair. Love. Quiet. Zula. I'm sorry, Kitty. It's finished. Come, Bronsky, I must have a word with you in front of Kitty. Krakowiak. Krakowiak, into the ballroom, all of you. But I warn you, it's complete disaster. The Grand Duke is treading all over the ladies' trains. 
Now then, you with Madame Karenna Dabrowski, and Mademoiselle Kitty with me. Mademoiselle? Uh, oh, la la la! I've taken to the sofa. Sorry, I feel sick. Oh, don't get some telling for Oh, la la la, yes. Oh, what a commotion! <laughs> My respect and apologies. Since you are going there, yes. I raced the train with my carriage. I'm glad the snow held you up. May I sit down? I agree. You know that Kitty is ill? Yes. It doesn't seem to touch you. I can scarcely forgive myself. On the contrary. I'm heartbroken. But there's nothing I can do about it. You can. Go back to her. We can be friends. I love you. Oh, yes, you love me. Forget one forgets a dream. It wasn't a dream. I love you. No. Are you afraid? I want to keep my peace of mind, Vronsky. And mine? What about me? I've told you you've done for me. Please go. All right. If you go your way, I shall go mine. But we'll be together all the same. You are me. I am you. We are one. Goodbye, Kamvronsky. I accept my suffering. I don't ask for anything else. But don't send me away. No. I won't send you away. Well, my dear, did you have a pleasant journey from Moscow? Did you teach your brother Steve a lesson? I left a cabinet meeting especially to fetch you. Now, see, I'm not glad. Well, have you no word? Upon my soul, I don't think you recognize me. Your husband, Alexis Alexandrovich Karenin. Hmm? Let us go home.
Where can I find Count Vronsky? His lordship's in the stable, sir. You want me to fetch him? No hurry. Getting ready for the big day? Yes, sir. Springs come on this sudden. Hmm. Always does in St. Petersburg. <laughs> this saddle's galling, Cord. He's got a bruise on the right fetlock, too. See this bandage, will you? Hello, McCoulton. How's Moscow? Dreary. All the girls are asking about you. The regiment's gone into mourning. What are you entering for the steeplechase? Ask my trainer. He decides. I'm going to try our luck on Fufu, sir. Oh, fine animal should win. Well, you'll have a work cut out against your gladiator. <laughs> He's only saying that to put me off the old rascal. He knows you're the better jockey. That stamina will count. I look at her, Bruce, sir, and get a muzzle on her before the stable lads fill her with sugar. Good. Capable fellow, your Englishman. Mm. Now look here, Vronsky, when do we see you again? Are you coming back to Moscow? I know. Yashwin has lent me a couple of rooms here. The place is overrun with women. <laughs> Yashwin. He's killing himself, the lunatic. Running after that baroness and four or five others. <laughs> One woman's enough, what? Wouldn't you say? Aye. Well, come on, my dear chap. In the mess, they drivel away about nothing else. Your grand passion. Well, which one? I have several. <laughs> well, damn it. There's no need to be so confounded discreet. We take on luster from you, my boy. You've never flown so high before. Someone is fooling you, McCoulton. There is no passion at the moment. But, but I heard it then from... Then they were mistaken. You mean to say you don't even know her name? Well, what's all the fuss about, you can tell me? There is no one. Get that in your head and remember it. I say. How am I supposed to take that? That was intended. In a friendly spirit. Friendly spirit? Right, we'll say no more then. I'll uh, look you up in your hermit quarters one of these days, huh? You're welcome. I have nothing to hide. Prong guard. Goodbye. Well, I should say, we had a most successful evening. Fast asleep. Hmm? Good, good. You sent Anushka off to bed? Oh, yes. Why keep her up so late? She forgot to draw the curtains. Leave it. I like the air. As you please, my dear. Do you know <clears throat> what the Tsar said before we left? He's putting me in charge of that business. <clears throat> you know that irrigation project in Sarisk? Now, I have some very firm ideas on the subject. First, it is essential to have a commissioner instead of a... Am I boring you? Will you unhook my dress? Certainly, yes. I was very glad to see you talking with the Tsarina. We talked about our children. She disapproves of the English educational system. Oh? Prince Serpukoskoy was blazing with orders, as usual. Did you notice? <laughs> he has a mania for collecting that trash. You wear a great many yourself. Oh, it's a duty. I'm out of that arena, I hope. Now, there is a bill I want to promote to the council tomorrow. I'll bring back a couple of ministers for dinner. I'm afraid we will be a little late there at the last look. Anna? Can you give me a moment? No? Please. Well, is it really necessary? I'd like to go to sleep. Sorry. Very well. I must put you on your guard, Anna. On my guard? For what? You've committed an indiscretion. I should like to think it was uh, thoughtlessness. 
You were animated tete a tete with Count Vronsky this evening did not pass unnoticed. Oh, really, you're always the same. If I'm bored, you're offended with me, and if I'm entertaining myself... For heaven's sake, leave your hands alone. You know me well enough to think that I'm capable of anything so commonplace as jealousy. Huh? Where are you going, Anna? I'm listening. The world is merciless, Anna. One does not violate certain conventions with impunity. And the long and short of it is that this evening, to judge by the general impression, you were lacking in good form. Now, I have no right, Anna. I consider it even dangerous to go too deeply into your feelings. That is the concern of your conscience, and that alone. But I'm bound to recall you to your obligations to me. We are joined forever, Anna. Forever. This is going to be a sermon, Alexis. I'm dropping with sleep. Now, this is a serious matter, Anna. Take care. Animated. Count Bronsky talked about his horses, nothing else. Who brought all this nonsense to you? Your old samovar Lydia, I suppose. Leave Countess Lydia out of this, Anna. I'm speaking in your interest. My position enters into it, of course. Oh, yes, that before everything. Oh, you're wrong. I love you. Really? When have you ever told me so? A word's necessary. Was that so gay? No. No. Now, Anna, all this may appear strange to you. I do not really enjoy making speeches. But there is an hour that strikes for every married couple. And this evening I felt it with some keenness. You've dropped a pin. My position is established now. We have a son. If you don't want to think of me, think of him. Oh, I do. Yes, I know. Do so. Do so. Now, I repeat. I'm your husband, your legal protector. But the tendency of manners today runs counter to marriage. Don't rely on it, Anna. A man can divorce, a woman never. Are you accusing me? If my words have been at all justified, Anna, if you feel in the smallest degree troubled, oh, I really? implore you. This is too ridiculous. You know what I represent in Russia. For my work, I need calm. I need strength. If there's anything you wish to tell me, Anna, Tell you what? Yes, nothing? No. Good. Then it's over and done with. <laughs> oh, dear. <laughs> what a bad habit that is of mine. You're very attractive tonight, Anna. You're tired. I am a little, yes. I see. And obey. Good night. Good night. May I take the lamp? I have a report yes. to finish on. Why do you not go to bed? I'm listening to Sergei. Poor little lamb, how he sighs. Sleep well. It is late. Too late. Too late. It is you. 
There's not a soul here when alone. You're unbearably beautiful. Oh, I was so afraid it was wrong of me to have come. No, it's quite safe. I gave orders. Give me your hands. You're sent. This is his cafe, is it not? No, no, no. The officers come here at night only. But during the day, it's given over to students, and poets, and lovers. Alexis. Oh, I can't stand this. I must touch you my mouth on your cheek. I can't stand it, Anna. I want you. I can't. You don't love me, not the way I love you. All you think about is your child, if you're recognized. You belong to me, the boss, Karenin. And my son, my little one. You'd still have him. Would oh, you think so? <sighs> Left my carriage at the corner of the Sadu fire. I came by the back streets on foot. No one could tell me the way I was frantic. Yes. And I found the cab. It had yellow seats and the coachman smelled of tobacco. I looked out of the window at the houses, but I saw only one face all the time. Your face. I'm not used to happiness. <sighs> How terrible it is. Like death. <laughs> What is that music? Gypsies. They play well. Listen. I'm listening to you. No, don't touch me or look at me. I haven't the strength. Let me hold this minute, Alexis. Let me hope. If you love me. If I love you? Don't. Your life. Everything that touches you. I will come to you tomorrow. Is that what you wish? Yes. Take care, Alexis. It's all or nothing with me. I'm not afraid. <laughs> what are you looking at? His names on the glass. The names of lovers. Don't look at them. They press so hard. Be afraid of forgetting. <laughs> Shall I write our names, Alexis? Anna. Alexis. How's your little one? Yes. All of us. All of us. All of us. again, Princess? Prince of Blonsky. <laughs> mm, afternoon, Betsy. How nice to see you in Petersburg, Steve. And Dolly? Mm. Oh, in Moscow, minding the babies. Convenient. Who are you backing in the race? Oh, Vronsky, of course. Who else? Well, what's your fancy? What a question to ask a woman. Can I guess the answer? <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
for His Royal Highness. Trust him, the Pope of St. Petersburg. Oughtn't you to be up there with him? Oh, yes, I suppose I should. better. Dana? Right, right, right. Isn't she here? I sent the carriage on from the ministry. Oh, we do excuse me. I tell you, these courses are butchery, already. Nine jumps in a mile and a hundred chances of breaking your neck. Anna has changed. I've only to look at her. Ever since I returned from Moscow, that I were not admitted. Anna Karenina is my friend. She's a delightful person. Mm, but she has changed. A little, perhaps, but those without shadows shouldn't envy those who have. Envy? Am I envious? <laughs> that pickled carp, straight for the Tsar. Mm, he knows the way. Treason, mind your tongue. Huh? Oh, I'm protected. Be careful, there are spies uh, everywhere. Huh? For example... Ah, oh, Betsy, now you are my witness. Have I ever shown envy towards anyone? Why, only the other evening at the evening at the ball. Oh, Vronsky. Excuse me, ladies. Vronsky. I've come to wish you luck for the race. I've come to witness your triumph. Thanks, Stephen. <laughs> oh, how's the horse? <laughs> Nervous. I must get back to her. Well, when do we see you again? Tomorrow in the mess. Make my apologies for me, will you? Oh, yes, of course. Madame. Count Vronsky. Last. Careful. Monsieur l'ambassadeur. Miss Anderson is wonderful. Can I see you? Night at one. Come through the garden. He won't be there. Miss Betsy Tverskoy, she's coming over. You're pale. Aren't you well? I'm sick with lies. Then come away with me. God, what will become? Tonight at one, I beg you, promise me. I've made you unhappy. I was dead before, now I'm alive. My love. My love. Dear one, there you are at last. Be careful, he's here. I couldn't bear it any longer, that collection of hags over there. Old Samovar Lydia always on the boil, and Lisa McCurtoff in a hat like a chimney pot. Sandling bell, Vronsky, didn't you hear it? Come on, move. Yes, all right. Bon chance, Alexis. Not in public. There are other ways of doing it. Well, Excellency, this is your wife. Don't you see her? My eyes were dazzling, Princess. My dear, you won't forget to have a word, Mrs. Hines. I'm listening. Very well. And you have your binoculars? Go on, go on. Oh, will you excuse me? Come, Anna. My last ruble on Fru Fru. <laughs> Anna, you look resplendent. Oh, this wretched bustle. Now, where are they? 
Well, not there. That's the finishing post. Oh. Over there. The Pramsky on Fru Fru and the rest of them. Oh, my heart's thumping. My smelling salts, I know. I shall need them. Oh, it's not as dangerous as it looks, you know. Six-foot fence at least. Come on, Vronsky! Vronsky! Fru Fru! Bravo! He sailed over it like an angel! Taking risks of death, so what's the point? In officer's racing, your highness, it appears to me the dangerous chief attraction. Admittedly superficial. There's your superficial with a couple of ribs broken. I was referring to the inner side of the question, Your Highness. Come on! Come on. It's suicide! I never want to see another race again. I can't bear it. Shall I take you home? No, of course not. Well, there goes another. Three! Ah, oh, Bronsky's falling back! Yes, he's losing. A bet? Done! A pair of gloves! Gladiator! Foo foo! He's down! Bronsky's oh, down! He failed the jumps, he did! Get an ambulance! Uh, Caden, uh, the Tsar ought to stop this. Steve! Steve! He's gone to the course. No, I'm taking him. Steve! Yeah, I'm off with my arm. Steve, Prince of Blonsky! Oh, I think it's all right, he's not hurt. The horse is done for. Third time I'm offering you my arm. Alexis, I promised Anna that I would drive her back. Thank you, Princess. My wife is not well. I shall take her home myself. Come, Anna. <coughs> His Imperial Highness is waiting to speak to you. Anna, smile. Bow. Smile. His Imperial Highness, Anna. Your Imperial Highness. Madam Karenina has had a bad shock. I don't wonder at it. It's a cruel sport, madame. Pray accept my apologies. Thank you. I shall send to inquire after you. Anna, I beg you to conduct yourself in a more seemly manner public. It's not a matter of my personal feelings, the appearance, the respect I deserve. You are his mistress, aren't you? Yes. You dare to tell me that. Oh, not here, my dear Baron. You will have to send a petition to my ministry. I hate you, Alexis. You mean you're a machine. I don't even hear what you're saying. I mean that he's alive. My mother is alive. That's everything. I shall go away. I shall leave your house. You may do as you please. But you will observe the proprieties to the end. You understand? To the end. No need to knock every time you come in, Connie. Yes, Your Excellency. <laughs> Connie, the stove. <laughs> you know, you probably think me rather stupid, 
Oh, but whenever I'm in Paris or Monte Carlo, I miss this enormous contraption. <laughs> the Russian stove. I mean, when you think of it, it is Russia. And as for this thing, you know, foreigners say we spoil our tea, but then uh, they can hardly be expected to understand us, huh? It's just so surprising when we can barely understand ourselves. Quite. <laughs> hmm. My dear fellow, I quite forgot to congratulate you. I understand the Tsar has been gracious enough to award the Grand Cross of Azyat St. Alexander Nevsky to you. Oh, that, yes. Thank you. Oh, you're riding high, Alexis. And I have every reason to be pleased. You see, uh, I want you to put a word in for me with the Tsar. On what subject? Well, I want a place on a committee. The Imperial Trans-Siberian Railway Consolidated Trust. <laughs> yes, it's quite a mouthful, isn't it? But I thought it'd look terrific on my visiting card. And dear see. Why do you want this post? Oh, my dear fellow, it carries a salary of 9,000 rubles. And to be frank, I'm hard up. Deuced hard up. And cut down on your expenditure. Anyway, it's a grossly inflated salary. Yes, probably, but it won't shatter the country's economy. Will you help? Yes, you have children. But don't overdo these requests. I should be obliged to refuse you. Oh, don't worry. I'm very grateful to you. Well, that means Dolly will be able to take a holiday. Uh, she's been getting in quite a state. Oh, do you mind? That's uh, not the only thing I came to talk to you about. There is one other matter. I expect you can guess what it is. It, it's Anna. I do not understand your mentioning this person. Alexis. I can't always talk to you as if you were a statesman. Take pity on her. Pity? Why? She's a lucky woman. Well, you know how hard it is for her to be separated from a son. The choice was hers. That she led a decent life. Yes, I, I know how you feel, but well, it is six months when all said and done, the past is over. For me, it is still the present. I know, but... Well, forgive me, Alexis. She is my sister, and her position is... I am not interested in her position. You, uh, you know they were in Venice. I am not interested. I take it she sent you to me. Well, yes. To be frank with you, she doesn't dare to come and talk to us. <laughs> <laughs> she does not dare. She's broken up my home, she's shaken my position, and, <laughs> and she does not dare. Well, anyway, they've come back to St. Petersburg. Together? Yes. She uh, begs you to allow her to see Sergei. Oh, she's a true woman, Alexis. Let her keep what she has. I'm doing so. She has Colonel Vronsky. Well, ex-Colonel has resigned his commission. Well, this is a fear. Will you let Anna see so gay? No. I told her as much. She wrote to me. She wrote to you? Uh, to be precise, she wrote to Countess Lydia. What? That old samovar? She must have been desperate. The, the Countess Lydia is a woman of rare quality. She fully supports me in this predicament. <laughs> she would. Besides, I told Sergei his mother is dead. Alexis! He prays for her. It's better so. I've made up my mind. Do you mean Lydia's made up your mind? I resent interference, Prince Ablonsky. I can't believe it. A mother. A lost woman. Dead. She forfeited any rights as a mother. But Alexis, if you ever had any love for her, you wouldn't. How dare you use such a word to me? Go to your casino, girls. 
teach them about love. Do you think I have no heart? That my career has blinded me? That all I care about is another cross to pin onto my chest? Do you think I have not suffered? My nights are torment. I can bear nobody anymore. Not even my son. That... That woman. I've done my duty to her. And more than my duty. <laughs> but for her, I am a machine. She told me so. Look at her. Her mouth. Her body. It all reeks of... of passion. Of inordinate desires. Even the scent. The scent she... she wore. It's bad for me to talk like this. Well, uh, <clears throat> I had to talk to you, and I promised. Oh, well, family life always leads you into fun of this sort. Uh, there's one other thing, Alexis, if you don't mind. Bronsky's rich, we all know. But if he doesn't marry her, one day she'll be left high and dry, that's certain. Oh, she, she doesn't know it, of course. Divorce to her is only a way of seeing her son. And she's my sister. I must think of a future. I even thought of a, a duel. A duel. Divorce. How oh, I abominate them both. Vulgarity. Scandal. Oh, Alexis, Alexis. Be generous. I'm a Christian, a son of the church. No, I refuse a divorce, and I will never see your son again. It's my last word. All right, I'll tell her what you said. That is your concern. But why, Alexis, why? They are happy. <laughs> when he told this, I mean, it really was extremely <laughs> funny. You should have been there, Brodsky. Wonderful. Serbikovsky, good luck. Prosit. Salute. Aha, that's Venice. <laughs> and what else did the regiment get up to that night? Madam, the Lieutenant General suddenly leapt up onto the table and started to dance the go pack. <laughs> <laughs> the boys were seeing their heads off. Oh, has anyone seen my love go by? Oh, did she forget? Or oh, did she die? Flat again, great. As <laughs> usual. Do I know? Call me. I, uh, I hope I haven't. Uh, no, 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 no. A real woman, that. Isn't she? I have no regrets. So you guessed why I came? Yes, and to hell with you. Have some more champagne. It's good to see you anyway. My true respects. And a general, too. <laughs> you could have had yours for the asking. Mm. Smoke. Thank you. I thought about it once, you know. And now? No. No. Pity. Venice, how was it? Oh, beautiful, very beautiful. Rather boring, too. Of course, Anna adored it all, the painting <laughs> side of it, all that old stuff, you know. <laughs> Did you see any Russians? Good Lord, no, we didn't run away from here to meet them all again in Italy. No, not a soul. Well, now we're back again. I expect we'll entertain at my place in the country, not Petersburg. Uh, don't be too sure of that, dear boy. You know these snobs, they'll make you wait. Think so? Well, we'll make do with each other. I'm content. Of course. Uh, Madame Karenina, uh, you've got the divorce, uh. I mean. 
It's only a matter of days. Splendid. Then I'm too late. For, for what? You'll know quite well. For my resignation? It's a pity. Man, you could have waited. Laid low for a while. You'll know what the army's like. All they ask is a little, um, pliancy. Say yes and wait. But I am not pliant. <laughs> oh, nothing personal, Sir Fikosko. Why not? <laughs> I'm pliant as a dancing master. I promise you I stiffen up when it comes to the point. You're wise. So can you be. It can't last. Come, look. listen. You must hear me out. I think Madame Karenina is charming. Yes, absolutely. A rare woman, but there's... But uh, what? We've always been friends, dear boy. You had a magnificent career. And now I haven't. So? You could take it up again tomorrow. Only, be honest, it's forever, you and she. <laughs> the questions a man asks. Yes. I hope so. What are you trying to say? I love Anna. Quite. And if you can marry, well and good. You see, I yield. Marry, you can take up your career again. Go oh. higher than me. Oh, sir, for God's You'll sake. know it's true. But if Karenin refuses... I have told you, he won't. But supposing he does... Then we'll go and live in the country. I'll be content. And you'll have plenty to do. Oh, yes, plenty. Carting your acres in the middle of the steppes. You'll be bored, Vronsky. Bored? What nonsense. One accepts. You're not forced to. You have never been in love. The Lord be thanked. I've seen what it does to an officer's career. Remember Mazenkov? You run off with a tart. I could wish you had. But think about it. A woman of the highest character in society. You snatched her from where she belongs. Women are materialist, Vronsky. Tear are tear. Once you've taken them on, it's a... Are you offended? No. But you're wrong about Anna. I have nothing more to say. I have an infinite respect for Madame Karenina. But it's you I love. I'm sorry, I'm due at the opera. I must be off. If you ever need any... Oh, I know, I know. Anna! Anna! Oh, you're going. You must come again. With the utmost pleasure. I'll walk you to the door. Thank you. Oh, please, don't trouble. Oh, I insist. <laughs> Do you love me? Anna! Say you love me. What are you afraid of? Of you, of you. Now, when will you learn you're my life, my... Yes. Zepikovskoy! Anushka, did they have everything? Yes, my lady. It's Put a them on the shot. carpet. I love unwrapping them myself. Now, is this the piano? Oh, yes. You don't think he's too old? I promised him one for his birthday. That must be the train. Walter gave me a letter for you. I'll put it on the table. toy once for my little boy. It was a sledge out of a wooden shoe. I didn't know you had a little boy, Anushka. Where is he? He's dead. <clears throat> I put the sledge in his coffin so that he could go to heaven in it. Poor Anushka. Anna, Sefikovskoy thinks you're wonderful. He's coming to supper tomorrow. And he won't give the divorce. 
Well, that's that then. We'll do without it. Seke, I must see Seke. Oh, you will. You must be patient. Just wait. When will I see him? Soon. He can't be vindictive forever. I'll do something. You're trembling. Look at me, Anna. I'm here. Think of me. I'm your child, too. Yes. Mm. How strange. The two people can love each other. And there's such a chasm in between. I know. You on one side and I on the other. What have we in common? You were bored in Venice, utterly. Admit it. While I only consented to come back because of Sergei, you didn't give him a thought. That's unfair. Are you reproaching me because I only think of you? God, reproaching you? You always put him before me. Why not admit it? Alexis, how can you? Anna, I'm sorry. You love me as I love you. you. Go on being torn and divided between. You're both my happiness. Without you both, there's nothing. Well, you are all I need. <gasps> you haven't a child. No. Brought some things for the messy. Yes. Oh, I do love you. When you go out, I hold the clothes you've been wearing. I'm afraid you won't come back. We used to laugh when we were in Venice. You weren't always thinking about Sergei then. Hmm? No. Alexis. This is the first time we've hurt each other. I don't think it'll be the last. I get on your nerves. Why don't you leave me? Don't be foolish, Anna. That's unworthy of you. <laughs> We're both fools. We adore each other. For God's sakes, no doubts. Answer me. Oh, I love you. That's all I know. Oh, it's like a fire when you say things like that. I can't bear anything in between us. Not even your child. I know it's vile of me. Sometimes I think if you died, you're my life. Your body, your mouth, your warmth. You talk about dying. How long will you love me, Alexis? Always, Anna. And you? I. Oh, I shall. Oh, give me a cigarette. I'll laugh again tomorrow. I will see Sergei. It's his birthday. I'll go in the early morning. But you can't. You know you can't. Oh, we shall see. Oh, well, Karen, in certainty have given orders. Wait a few days. Wait? Wait? Do you suppose I'm capable of waiting? Well, at least consult your lawyers first. I'd much rather you didn't interfere. Well. Well, I could go tonight. Karenin may be out of her sleep. What does it matter? I'd like to go out. As you wish. Where? To the opera. Patty's singing. To be booked out. It's a, it's a premiere. The whole of Petersburg will be there. Oh, you mean I'm not good enough to appear at a premiere? Now, don't be so sensitive. My mother will be there, all the officers. I have to shut myself out. Avoid all my friends. Because I'm your mistress, am I an outcast? Oh, be sensible. It would be foolish to do this. To expose yourself to insult. Later, when we're married, we can go together. I'm proud to be your mistress. You can be ashamed of it if you like. I shall go to the opera. I love you and I forbid it. You forbid? What right have you to forbid me anything? Anna! Excellency? Why isn't that table cleared? Your excellencies were talking, so I didn't think to clear. Leave that. That's the waiter's job. Yes, Excellency. And get my clothes out. I'm going to the casino. And tell her ladyship. Yes, Excellency. German. Fast!
the lows at the right, parading herself. I saw you wave to her. Why not? She's a friend. Oh, really, Mamia. Really, I don't understand you. How you can. Who are you buying to her, boy? Countess Vronsky over there. What? The old witch. Careful. We're among the ranks of the angels. There's Princess Tverskoy and her long-suffering husband. Oh, dear, we might be in heaven already. Let's go backstage. Lily's not singing tonight. I don't believe it. She is. Anna is here. But she wouldn't dare. You don't know her. But you do, Betsy. I mean, I thought you and she were friends. Oh, yes, but once you know how it is. As soon as it happened, I had to close my door to her. Betsy. Dear man, don't you interfere. There are some things only women understand. Evidently. Take my card to Madame Patty. Princess? Corona now is here. What'd she say, old boy? Madame Karenina is here. What? Are they back in Petersburg, then? Yes, I met them in the Moscow yesterday. But the princess can't be right. This is a premier she wouldn't dare. <laughs> they dare anything, the women. She'll be on Vronsky's arm. She'll be safe enough. Alone by Gad. Here's a story. Ah, Vronsky. Good evening, Prince. How are you? Enjoying the opera? Yes, indeed. And now he's here. Really, it's too much. Oh, and he seems to know nearly everybody. Perhaps that's why he's come, to show he doesn't care. To show how much he despises us. Come, Manya. We'll cut him. Good evening, Bates. Vronsky. Vronsky. I didn't expect to see you here tonight, my dear friend. No, why not? Well, that, that is, you is didn't mention it. Marvelous that. voice. I hope Madame Karenin's enjoying the performance. I believe so, Yashvin. Thank you. <laughs> you should have been here for the first act. She's like a nightingale tonight. You looking for someone, Vronsky? No. <laughs> Mind you, I know as much about opera as the Man in the Moon, a military band that's more in my line, all those arias and coloraturas. But I tell you, Vronsky, when Patty opens her mouth, What? Oh. Anna! Andre, I'd like my cloak. One hardly knows where to turn this evening. Betsy, that was quite unnecessary. Oh, there you are. What a pity you came late. You missed the best part. I'm not much of a judge. Shall we get some air? Yes. I find Patty just a little overwhelming. Why did you make me come? We'll talk about that surf He's cooked, old boy. This time he's done for good. Your places, please, ladies and gentlemen. The second act is about to start. Your places, please, ladies and gentlemen. Your places.
Nancy. Pardon me, lady. I didn't see you come. Shh. How is he? He's very well, but uh, I've been given orders, Excellency, that I'll wait in the corridor. Thank you. Mummy, is it you? Is it you, Mummy? Oh, my love. Yes, it's me. I knew you weren't dead. I knew you weren't. Don't get cold, my treasure. You used to come and see so gay in the night. I knew you did. You smell just the same. Why are you crying? Because I'm so happy. Oh, you've grown. You're not unhappy, are you? Tell me, darling, you must tell me. No. Have you brought me any presents? Oh, the presents are in the carriage. What are they? Well, there's a train that goes, and there's a piano and a music box, and, and Corne will fetch them. I like Corne. He plays with me. He never said you were dead. It was the old lady. Silly old thing. My darling, how thin you are. Do you eat enough, and how do you dress yourself without me? Oh, I'm strong now. Papa gave me a sledge, and Nadi and I went on the ice in the garden. <laughs> she always falls off. <laughs> Shall I show you my sledge? Presently. It's only me, your old Nadia. Be praised. I knew you wouldn't forget the little gentleman's birthday. How could I forget, Nana? Oh, get up off the floor, dear. You'll hurt your knees. Yes. It's nine years since I put him into your arms and broke a little cake over his head. <laughs> winter, winter. There were fir trees with coloured lights all down the lever. <laughs> Quiet, my little dog. You'll wake your father. He sleeps so badly. You'll have to go soon, my lady. Oh, my God. I barely touched him, barely kissed him. No, it's impossible. What's the matter, Mummy? Nothing, my darling. Only my darling, my treasure. I pray for you, my lady. Yes, pray. Pray. My sake. You will never forget me, will you? Oh, no, Mummy. You see, my darling. And my bed. I'd have to go away somewhere again. No! Yes. Oh, I should be so unhappy if I had to. So, so I want you to say to yourself that I'm thinking of you all the time. And that nothing can ever separate us. Nothing, nothing. My lady. Some kind. Don't be afraid. He won't come. What are you saying, my darling? I'm not afraid. Your father is good. When you're bigger, you'll understand. He's better than I am. Nobody's better than you. Nobody. Mummy, I don't want you to go away. I don't want you to go away. But I'm not going away, my darling. Then take off your cloak, Mummy. There, you see, I'm not going away. You are pretty, Mummy. Have you been to a ball? Hmm? Grand ball with lights. Now my Sergei is going to sleep. It's so late. Sit on the bed. There. Happy now? Yes. I want to hold your hand, and then you won't be able to get away. Mummy, are you there? Yes, my darling. Go to sleep, go to sleep. Tell me like you used to. About Babinka. Babinka the cat and Mushka the mouse. They had a fine wedding in a fine house. And then they ate up all the sugar before the witch came. Goodbye, my darling. My 
Leave him in your charge. If he ever falls, he'll send for the doctor at once and let me know. I beg you, let me know. Bye, Nana. Kiss him for me every day. Every day. See Madame out. Please, will your ladyship wait here? Her ladyship's been sent for. She's out riding. The master's in the fields. Can I bring you something? Thank you. Darling. Anna. Oh. Mm. I've spoilt your ride. Oh, I'm so happy to see you here. You must be exhausted after your journey. Tanya, bring us something to drink. Oh, you must be so thirsty. Sit down. Take your hat off. Never mind that. All I want is to sit and have a good look at you. You're so beautiful. Have I changed? You look as though you're in your right place. So commanding. Yes, that's the way to treat life. Crack the whip. And Steve and the children? They're very well. And Vronsky, Anna? Very well, too. Why shouldn't he be? Everything you saw on your way here is his. He hunts. He builds hospitals, he talks to the peasants, he has everything. I have only him, nothing else. But you still love each other. Oh, that's the terrible thing, loving. It is heartening. Will you spend the winter here? Yes? Hmm? Yes, I expect so. But you'll have friends. Oh, yes, we have friends of a sort. In St. Petersburg, I went to the opera one night. One of my oldest friends cut me. No, we'll be alone, I expect. Anna, won't there be any children? No. That shocks you, darling? There are ways, you know. Besides, one doesn't keep a man with children. I know. I've got... I've had Sergei. There won't be any others. How is he, Dolly? Tell me, have you seen him? Steve has. Anna, I brought oh, some Steve news. Steve has seen him and you didn't tell me. How is he? Yes. Tell me about it. Quite well. Don't worry. He's a big boy now. Steve has seen him. What did he talk about me? Tell me. He's um, <laughs> rather reserved. I know he thinks about you. He was unhappy after you came to see him. Oh, Anna, I'm so sorry. <laughs> Leave it to me, Tanya. I'm teaching Tanya to read. And in return, she tells me old stories and legends. Isn't that so? Yes, my lady. In the winter, she does weaving on a grand scale with the other girls and boys, too. But she sings. They know what happiness is. A white hen and a black hen? That's love. And death. Death? Why death? When love is gone. Run along, Tanya. Hmm? Lemonade, darling? Thank you. Darling, tell me about Kitty. Oh, Kitty, she's married, Anna. And happy? Yes. Konstantin Dmitrich Levin. He loves her. He's as good as can be. As good as can be. I'm so glad. Oh, Dolly, it's such a joy for me to see you here. Listen, Anna, I've brought some news. 
write to your husband and he will let you have the divorce. You've asked him again, Liz? Steve and I. Can't to write to him. Only a letter. He's thought it over. He's religious, you know. Yes, he's perfect. What more, darling? Hmm? What more would it give me if I humbled myself? Tell me. You could marry. You could be Vronsky's wife. I am his wife. Yes, but... You mean then I'd be sure of keeping him? Not only that. Would it give me back my son? No. Then why should I? I'm certain Vronsky wants the divorce. Are you? Are you sure? I'm not. Anna. He hasn't changed. No. No, he's the man he's always been. But we have a special attitude to love, Dolly. It's our occupation. We live on it. Other people have their careers, their friends. We have love, nothing else. To live and breathe and think for one person. Oh, we're mad. Anna, what's going on? You're not telling me the truth. He's not unfaithful? No, not yet. There are many ways of being unfaithful with all this. His books, his hunting, his land. A man can deceive you when he's sitting beside you in his armchair reading a newspaper. He deceives me every time he's not thinking of me. Of me. Anna, you can't be so unreasonable. You must give him some freedom. Freedom? Am I free? Men need it more. They need more independence. You'll only break yourself trying. All right, then I'll break myself. I've sacrificed everything. My son, my... Let him do the same. The loneliness, Dolly. Do you know that there are times when I hate him and he hates me? Two lovers dying together minute by minute in a hell of our own making. There must be an end. believe in icons, Dolly? There are some people who send for the Virgin of Kazan or somewhere to bless the house and bring back love. We must believe in God, not images. In God? Oh, he's a long way away. Only to make our faults seem smaller. Upon men. Give me back, my son. Give me back, Alexis. Have mercy upon men. Have mercy upon men. news. Do you want it? Serpikovskoy has been awarded another medal. The Cross of St. George this time. The first snow. The pigeons are wheeling. Have you been down to the lake? Mm, this morning. Soon be able to skate. Smoking too much, Anna. Oh, am I? What would you like me to do? Hmm? You going out tonight? Probably. 
Where to, may I ask? To Moscow, see my mother. Again? Why again? I haven't seen her for three weeks. Money matters, I have to settle with her. Nothing else? Please. You don't expect me to bury myself here all winter without once in a while attending to my business affairs? Hmm. And enjoying yourself on the side? Well, why not? All right. I'll come with you. By all means, you have the right. The right. Look, Anna, what's the matter? Are you suggesting that just because I have to go out from time to time... I live alone. No one to talk to. Don't even think of me. Do I go to see women, a visit to my mother, supper with my Colton? I suppose even a married man could allow himself that. Hmm, quite. And you're not. You're my lover. Love? You always get back to love. What else have I got in this world? Do I even have that? Well, haven't I given you proof? What more do you want? Words, protestations... Go on, actions, anything else. No, Anna. Let it end there. Yes. You can hardly wait for it to end. And then to all these scenes, I agree with you. You've got into the habit of them, unfortunately. We ask too much of life. You like to think we're exceptional. All people in love do the same. All people in adultery, you mean, don't you? Oh, yes, I know. Nothing could be more commonplace, more dreary. All my women friends had lovers, but they stuck with their husbands. They were respectable. Well, I didn't play their game, and now I'm paying for it. And I made sacrifices, too. Oh, yes, I know you've told me often enough. When? When have I ever said... You? <laughs> well, you cried aloud all the time. Your career, your position, your friends. The fine future you'd have had without me, without this woman business. I'm the millstone round your neck. I'm preventing you from living, isn't that it? Well, isn't it? What's at the bottom of all this? Your sense of being in a false position. But you refuse to write to your husband. Why reproach me for not asking for a divorce? You don't want it. Not want it? What else am I talking about when I say I want a normal life? A home with children, a bit of peace? Oh. Well, perhaps your mother can give that to you. My mother? She's trying to supply your needs, isn't she, with Princess Sorokina? Princess Sorokina? Oh, you don't know her? Of course I do. Why shouldn't I know my friend's sister? Very young and pretty, I believe. Oh, now, what are you suggesting? That I'm running after her? Did you see her at your mother's? That she's throwing her into your arms and wants you to marry her? I know. You're impossibly jealous. I can't go near another woman without you suspecting me and inventing I don't know what. To keep you happy, I'd have to shut myself up here with you, cut myself off from everything else I care about, leaving myself empty but yours. Well, no, thank you! Sorry, Anna. I belong to myself. I have tastes and a personality of my own, and that's that. Oh, I was right. You don't love me. Oh, can't you understand that I can love you and still see the sky and the world around You're you? You're my sky and my world. If you loved me, I'd think myself happy if I were blind. <laughs> You're a woman. For you, that's possible. But a man... Needs the whole of life. All of it. And take it. Oh, don't worry, you'll be rid of me. Oh, no, you're threatening. It's a threat to no one but me. I want to be loved. I no longer am. I'm putting it on record, that's I all. I love you. You in your right mind, you wouldn't doubt it. But I must be free. You're free, go. Look, I shall be gone two days only. Less. 
I must have this power of attorney from my mother, and she's expecting me, and you know it. Give me your hand. If you go away tonight, you'll never see me again. What? Never. Now, look at me. I fit up with enough of your nonsense. I'm going to Moscow tonight. Going to Moscow! And you'll be here when I get back. No! All right. Alexis, don't go! Listen, listen, I don't know what I've been saying. Don't you see how I'm suffering, how terrible it is for me? I'm nothing left. Let go of me. Take game, my little one. I can't tear him from me, can I? He's living inside me always. His voice, always oh, voice. I can't stand it any longer. And I only go on living because you are here. You, you. My only hope was to have you both, to love you together. But that's not possible. He's growing up without me. He's forgetting me. I've only you, you. Please, get up, Anna. No. This is madness. Please, get up. No. Let me hold you. I love holding you. Poor Anna. What is it you want? I'll do anything for the sake of your peace of mind. Don't go happen. away, then. You only knew what my nights are like when you're not here. I take drugs. It's such a relief to forget to feel nothing. Now be sensible. Tomorrow? I... Today, Alexis. I must go, Anna. I promised. You promised to make me happy. I have to go. This is for you as well. We need this money. I don't want the money. Now, don't be childish. Well, you can wait a day. I can't. My mother's going to the country tomorrow. With Princess Sorokin? I don't know. That's my mother's concern. Mr. Tish is cruel and heartless. She knows that if you let Please me... Please don't speak that way about my mother. Well, you've said worse things. My affair. So this is how you prove your love. <coughs> you won't understand it, you won't give me. It's this woman or me you must choose. This is intolerable. I shall return tomorrow morning at 10 o'clock. Alex! Misha! Already, Excellency, your fur cap and gloves. Tell her ladyship. Now, we can go now. Excellent. York, Excellency. Misha, take this note to his lordship. But he has gone, Excellency, to the station. Take a horse. Catch up with him. You must do here. Give him this. Shall I wait for an answer? There's no answer. He'll come back with you. Go and run. I must go. I must do my hair my face. He mustn't find me like this. I must look happy for him. Bring me a comb and my powder quickly and a dress to move. Make him come back. Make him come back. I'll believe everything. I won't ask for anything more. What time is it? Five o'clock, Excellency. Day, so wet and cold. You, you can't haven't see. brought the dress and shoes, my shoes. Five minutes. I'll be getting to the station. Now he's getting his ticket. He's reading it. Train isn't signal. Pray God it's late. Pray God. Misha, Misha. Misha, what? Oh, oh Excellency. A letter from her ladyship, Excellency. She sent me after you on the horse. Oh, the snow. You can't see. At the mercy of God, I kept on the road. Shall I get the coachman to turn round the barouche, Excellency? Come, Zianushka, hurry. The lordship will be here. All this misery for a man, there's no sense in it. Carriage, quickly, go and see. The coachman says he saw Misha talking to his lordship, but as nobody gave him any orders, he came straight back. I think it's 
nothing. Get my coat and muff, I have to go out. Excellency, you'll lose yourself in the dark and the snow. And suppose his lordship doesn't find you at home? Wait a little while. Wait? What for? He won't come back. Where will you go? To the station. Where should I go? Alexei. Colonel Vronsky is taking me to Moscow. I'll come with you. I'll tell the coachman. No, wait here. Kiss me. No. Goodbye, Anushka. Goodbye? Silly of me, Amanda. I must go out. I should go across the fields. Don't be anxious. The air will do me good. Feel I'm burning. Get my coat, Anushka. That's everything. Excellency! I was waiting for the snow to stop it. You saw his lordship. You gave him a letter? Yes. And? There was nothing, Excellency. Nothing? You couldn't go. Very good, Excellency. Anna Karenina was translated from the French by E.J. King Bull and adapted for television by Donald Bull. It was produced by Rudolf Cartier with the following cast. Anna Karenina, Claire Bloom, Count Alexis Vronsky, Sean Connery, Alexis Karenin, Albert Levin, Countess Vronsky, Valerie Taylor, Steva, Prince Oblonsky, Jack Watling. Dolly, Daphne Anderson. Kitty, June Thorburn. Korsunsky, Frank Williams. McHotin, Alan Tilburn. Yashvin, David Lander. Prince Tverskoy, Robert Percival. Betsy, Princess Tverskoy, Patricia Laffin. The Grand Duke, Campbell Cotts. General Prince Serpukovskoy, Derek Aylward. Sergei, Anna's son, Bobby Setano. Cord, John Barrett. Countess Lydia, Elaine Innescourt. Princess Miyaki, Alice Esme Bell. Nana, Sergei's nurse, Enid Lindsay. Anushka, Laurie Lee. Tania, Francis Cohen. Misha, Sidney Vivian. Matt Fye, Graham Lehman. Corney, Arthur Ridley. Station Master Gerton Klauber, Priest Andre Muller, Server Peter Rutter, First Lady Elaine Laniado, Second Lady Joyce Skelton, Opera Attendant 
Peter Augustine. The designer was Clifford Hatz.